Hi, welcome to Inside Yachting. This is the full-length review of Murder Yacht Dealership. She's a beautiful 70-foot uh, Viking princess cruiser or princess yachts when they're shipped over here are uh, co-branded with Viking yachts. Um, she's here in Fort Lauderdale, has a great four stateroom layout, a great asking price at uh, just over $1.6 million. Um, so let's go and take a look in. So as you're watching the review, remember that we have the yacht pack already created for this boat. Just go over onto the right hand side here, click on the yacht pack request button, leave us your name, the best email address for you and the name of the boat that you're interested in and we'll send that over to you right away. So a dealership, she's 70 feet long, just under 18 and a half feet in the beam, has a nice draft just over five feet. Uh, the boat is actually in fantastic condition. That's really one of the main reasons why I wanted to uh, review this one today. It's a 2005 boat. It's a 2006 model, but it was launched in 2005. Has a four stateroom layout, a perfect uh, bed makeup as far as I'm concerned. It has a king size bed in the full beam master cabin, has a VIP up forwards, which is a queen and the port and starboard beds. One is a queen, the other is a twin. So great, great uh, occupancy for this size boat. And that layout of the cabins really uh, lends itself well to, to lots of different makeup of, of guests or, or owners. So uh, let's take a look at some of the photographs here. Now the teak deck, it looks wet there, but that's actually been uh, sealed. It has a almost a, a stained uh, finish, but it looks very well kept. Uh, that finish, when you put that on teak, you end up having to do that every couple of months probably is um, relay that, that ceiling on the, on the deck. A nice layout here has a big back table, has nice solid stairs leading up to the flybridge deck. And then most of that aft deck uh, side of, of the house, the, the aft end of the house is all glass there. You can see that at the top window, uh, top picture on the right hand side there. So moving on to uh, one of the interior shots there, that's the little breakfast sort of dinette um, area that's up over across from the lower helm station. Uh, the other photographs are all up on the flybridge. Now the boat has brand new canvas. So that bimini top that you see there, that's new. Uh, all of the exterior cushion covers are new as well. The electronics that you see in the lower photograph on the right hand side, all of those are new as well as the electronics in the lower helm. So the boat's been very, very well taken care of. Actually, you can't see it on, on these uh, photographs here too well, but the paint is in fantastic condition as well so it's been very very well maintained and then has some great upgrades last year all of these upgrades the canvas and, and the electronics and things were all done in 2013 um, some other photographs there basically the uh, the same areas has a nice grill and sink area up on the flybridge uh, has the davit up there this doesn't have the hydraulic swim platform which is a nice feature on some of the boats but it does have a fairly big tender uh, for the size boat and a nice davit up there behind the uh, behind the sun lounging area so moving on to the interior it uh, has a, a fairly classic princess layout princess usually have that uh, sort of separate galley area that sometimes is sunken down in some of the older models and, and then in the newer models they had them sort of semi sectioned off but still sort of open plan but it isn't that full country style kitchen that we see on many of the US built boats but great open plan main salon nice um, clean lines to, to all of the interior areas here it makes it look a little bit a little bit larger than than it might actually be in uh, um, in, in real life. Here's some more pictures of the salon and dining area. Nice U-shaped sofa, new 32-inch TV um, down in the uh, in between those two single seats um, up into the, where the sort of galley area is here. Nice um, stainless steel appliances, uh, beautiful Korean countertops there. All of the, the wood throughout the boat, I was on it not too long ago. Uh, it's all very well finished. It's all been uh, retreated in areas that might have had some sort of high wear in the high traffic areas. Uh, but overall, the boat shows very, very well. Here you can see that uh, lower helm station, lots of new electronics there, all from uh, the, I think, believe it was around January last year that most of this work was done. 
And then we move into some of the cabins. This is the Ford VIP. So this is a Queen uh, Central Island berth here. It has a nice skylight up in the top. I don't believe there are any portholes in this room other than that skylight. The master cabin does have some nice large hull side windows, not quite as large as the uh, more modern boats that you see where they have huge solid glass uh, sections to the to that sort of master cabin area. Here they're just sort of elongated uh, portholes, but still bring a lot of light into into that room. Um, so you can see some more uh, flat screen TVs in here as well in that lower left hand photograph. Um, that again was, was new in 2013 and uh, moving into the day head, uh, sorry, the, the ensuite head for this VIP cabin uh, in the lower picture on the right hand side there. So all of the bathrooms are all full bathrooms. You all have showers in them, uh, the vanity sinks, a toilet in there as well. So there aren't any half. Um, bathrooms here like uh, like you'd see in a, a, a day head and on deck day head so this cabin here this is the master cabin full beam master cabin taking advantage of that um, 18 just under 18 and a half feet beam nice king size bed the bed slightly off to uh, one side which means that it's kind of open um, feeling in here they do have a little vanity desk on one side they have a, a little sofa on the other so it has a nice um, sort of open plan feel here uh, again, new uh, new flat screen TV to this cabin as well. There on the left hand side, you can see the um, the vanity desk and the little sofa there. They have the uh, blinds drawn right now, but in some of the exterior profile shots, you'll be able to see those elongated portholes, and that's what's behind these uh, these curtains here. The two photographs on the right hand side that's of the um, center cabin that has the queen size bed in it. I believe that is to uh, starboard. I, uh, I think the twin cabin is on the port side. We'll see that detailed in, in the write up though. So this is great to have a, a queen size bed in here. It means you have three cabins with nice large beds for couples and then you have one cabin that has the, uh, the two single beds in it. Um, again, a new flat screen TV in that cabin as there are in this uh, twin cabin here as well. And that's what you can see on the left hand side. Nice size beds uh, do have portholes in this cabin, same as they did with the other uh, cabin that had the queen size bed in it and a nice full uh, bathroom in here as well. Uh, the other photograph that you can see on the right, that's of the crew cabin that can be used as a, a separate um, guest accommodation, if need be, it is a, a fairly substantial cabin. So now we're moving on to uh, some more of the exterior photographs, a, a couple of shots of the engine room. There's uh, around 1800 hours on the engines. They have had their thousand hour service done. Um, and the boat has a few other options. Um, it has the, uh, the larger uh, sort of air conditioning system on board. It also has a water maker system on board as well, which is an optional extra from the uh, from the build. On the left hand side, there's some pictures of the bow. You can see on the top photograph, that's the porthole or the, the uh, skylight that looks down into that forward VIP that we saw earlier on and some nice sun lounge areas up there as well. Um, the engine room, very clean. Um, it's a, a nice sized engine room, not quite full height, but uh, very roomy in here. No issues with uh, overheating in some of the smaller engines like you saw on the um, some of the smaller azimuts. Um, they would quite often suffer from uh, overheating at, at higher RPMs. Some more shots of the engine room there. Uh, the, this boat has man engines on it. The man historically were a, a little bit more difficult to get service done over here um, but now that that's all changed they're just as easy to get work done on them as uh, MTUs or, or Caterpillars here now so the service technicians are much more wider spread than they were um, 10 years ago. So here you can see on the right hand side you can see all the portholes so there are actually portholes um, up in that forward VIP cabin as there are in the center cabins and then you can see uh, right on center line there those four uh, five lo long um, sort of individual portholes now on the newer models you'll see all of that section be uh, just complete glass so it's a little more um, sort of open an area in the newer models but when you consider 
uh, the price difference between this um, pedigree and, and age of boat compared to a new version. Um, I mean, it's you're almost getting a brand new boat here that's in fantastic condition for, for a fraction of the price. So it's a very, very compelling um, option here to go for, for something like this. Here we can see a nice shot of the aft deck. As I said, it's not a hydraulic swim platform. That is a nice option to have on, on this um, style of boat, uh, but still a very large um, aft deck area there. So let's move into some of the uh, specifications and the write-ups. As I flick through this, remember the yacht pack is done and, and ready to go for this boat. So if you want to uh, have a read through this of your own, so you can have it to print out and, and really go through things piece by piece, then click over on the right hand side. If you're on the uh, website, if you're on YouTube, then get over to insideyachting.com. That's where all of the, the better information is. And that's where you can take the next steps to get in this, uh, these sort of yacht packs and, and things. Over on the right hand side, uh, yacht pack request button, uh, click on that, leave the name of the boat, your name on your email address, and we'll get that over to you right away. It's already created, ready to go as we have them already created for every boat that's currently on the market. So if there's any other boat that we haven't done a review on, then you can always request that yacht pack. So let's get back to uh, dealership looking at these specifications. Like I said, it has the MAN engines on there. They're the uh, V12s, uh, 1360 horsepower. Uh, the boat cruises at around 28 knots, maximum speed of about 34, which is great for this size boat. It's a fiberglass hull uh, built in 2005. It's a 2006 model and it's here in Fort Lauderdale. So you can see here some of the upgrades that were, were done. The interior and exterior is all LED lighting that will help with your power management. Touchscreen Raymarine electronics on the uh, flybridge and down in that lower helm as well. They have a night vision FLIR camera. Uh, they have uh, cushions and fabrics and all of the covers which were new in 2013 as well. And the man's had a thousand hour service um, and some other bits and pieces which you can see were, were new as we'll flick through this uh, through this right up here. Um, so the accommodation like I said, it has the four guest cabins, great setup as far as beds, one king in the in the master suite, two queens and a twin. So it's a great, great layout, great option. You can see going through here, it lists all the, the bullet points of, of what the boat has um, uh, installed. Miele dishwasher, Panasonic microwave, uh, Neff stove top, the laundry equipment has Miele washer and dryer. Uh, master head is a vacuum flush. All of the uh, toilets on board are vacuum flush. Um, moving into the uh, flybridge electronics here, you can see the, the Raymarine 12 inch screens uh, that were fitted new last year. Uh, lower helm has the same. Lower helm will have a few other uh, major controls in it that you won't see up on the flybridge, but that's because the lower helm is the, the sort of master station. So you'll see controls for um, sometimes things like generators and uh, stabilizers and water makers and things down in that lower helm that you won't necessarily see upstairs. Uh, other equipment that's on board, you can see here on the uh, right hand side, it details some of the electrical equipment that's installed. This is a 110 60 hertz boat. It's built in the UK and then the ones that are designed for the US market because the US market is generally a little bit more demanding than uh, Europeans are. So over here, you'll see a lot more in the way of uh, electronics, navigation equipment, entertainment equipment, uh, higher specification, air conditioning, uh, things like fixed hard bimini tops are fairly well established here, whereas they're not so well established over, over there, simply because it's more uh, sort of hot and humid over here than it, than it is there. So the boats that come over here will generally demand a much higher price than the boats that are in Europe. So when you're comparing boats, when you're looking at things to buy, you can't really compare apples to apples uh, with boats that are in the US and built for the US market compared with the ones that are in Europe because you will see a substantial uh, price difference there. So engine room equipment, a uh, thousand hour service as we saw, um, has a 90 gallon holding tank, has an oil change system, a ZF transmission, all of the things that you would typically see out of, out of Princess. Um, you can flick through this at your, at your own time. 
get the yacht pack. It has all this information in it. We put in more information um, about things like pricing and, and our own sort of insider opinions to, uh, to the manufacturers and other things that might be out there and available. So that's the end of this review. Get that yacht pack. Don't forget that we do our daily yacht tours throughout the week now. So if there's anything that you're interested in seeing uh, here in South Florida, then um, click over on the right hand side on the daily yacht tours button. Uh, leave us your name and email address and we'll uh, try and squeeze you in. They are getting quite busy here, uh, but I'm sure we'll be able to get a time that, uh, that works well for you. So that's it for dealership. Thanks for joining us. We have a couple of other boats that were in the same uh, roundup for this week. So you should be seeing the links to the full length reviews down below this window. So thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.